Hello, welcome to the advanced session. In the previous session, we have evaluated the model. For this, we have used the separate data set. Sometime we do not have an individual data set for training and testing. For this, ML.NET provide a way to split the single data set randomly for training and testing. Here I have created new folder for the session 12 and copied file from the previous session. We need to use the context.data.printTest split and pass the data view that we want to split. By default, it will randomly split approx 10% data into the test dataset and remaining in the training dataset. But we can change it using the test fraction parameter. Let's create a test data setup for approx 20% test. While creating model, instead of passing the entire data set, we need to pass the train set from the split. Remove the unnecessary core. And in the case of evolution, we need to pass the test set. Open the program.cs and execute the session 12's demo. Save all the file and run the project. Here we got the less accuracy compared to the previous example. The reason for this is that our dataset is generated from the original dataset. So the size of training dataset is reduced. In the machine learning, training dataset plays a very important role. If we have provided a similar kind of sample, then machine will be unable to learn about the other kind of example. Our dataset should include the more data as well as the data having the value for the almost possibility. There should not be any kind of bias. For example, if we are generating the sentiment analysis from the text, then we need to provide the positive as well as the negative values. If we have provided 95 data having the positive value and only 5 data with the negative value, then it will be obviously not going to perform well on the negative values. Let's see what we have learned in this session. By using the train test split method, we can split the data set randomly. We can specify the fraction size in the test fraction parameter. Stay tuned for the next session.